in this video, I'm going to share with you exactly how you can start making money selling products on Amazon, even if you have no money to start with. Let's jump right into it. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Brad Sherman, seven figure seller. And on this channel, we explore tips, strategies, and experiences that I have had that will help you start and build up your Amazon FBA business. In this video, I am going to break down exactly how you can start selling name brand products on Amazon FBA. This is applicable to you even if you have no money to start with. I did it. Four years ago, I was dead broke, and now we sold seven figures on Amazon. Last year, we sold four and a half million dollars worth of sales, and in this video, I want to share with you how you can do the same thing. There is nothing special or sexy about selling on Amazon, and we're going to unpack all of that in this video. Before we jump into it, if you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure to hit that like button. It really helps out the videos in the algorithm. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell as well to stay up to date on all future content. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Five years ago, I made a decision that I didn't want to work a nine to five job and I was absolutely sick of being broke. I was sick of not knowing what my future was going to look like. In college, I did not want to do what my major was, which was accounting and finance, and I really didn't know what I want to do. So for those of you that are trying to navigate what you want to do, maybe you're a young person in college and you're looking to possibly start up a side hustle, this is the message for you to do it. Please, if I did not make the decision to start selling on Amazon or just make that first step and start researching how to sell products online, I would never be here in front of this camera for you today having sold multiple seven figures on Amazon. Amazon FBA can make you rich. There is no question about it, but it is not all the sexiness and glamour that everyone makes it out to be. So if you are broke and you have zero dollars in your bank account, the first thing that you need to do is get a part-time job or set aside some income from your primary job. This is because Amazon FBA is an inventory based business, which means that you have to invest money into products in order to sell them on Amazon. This is not drop shipping. Drop shipping is where you list a product on a platform, the customer purchases that product from you, and then you pay for the product after the order has already been shipped and you've been paid for that order. Drop shipping is not the business model to go for. Amazon FBA is, and I'm going to tell you why. So if you're dead broke like I was when I first started, the first thing you want to do is get some money in your bank account. So number one here is basically just going to be figure out how to get a thousand dollars. If this means that you have to get a part-time job, you have to do Uber, or you have to bartend. Like for me, I was a bartender on the side when I first started and I would work nights and weekends and that enabled me to save enough money to then invest into my Amazon business, right? Well, you need to figure out how to get $1,000 in your pocket in money that you can invest into your Amazon FBA business. So if you have $0, you're not gonna be able to do this business model, but if you have 1,000, you could. And your first cost is gonna be setting up an Amazon seller account, which is gonna be $39.99 per month. So this right here is the bare bones overhead that you need to have in order to start selling on Amazon, which is 40 bucks a month. There are some other softwares that you are going to want to get, but we'll get into that a little bit later. So as you are saving this money, $1,000, and this is just a starting point. If you guys can save more money than this, that's ideal. If you could have anywhere from two to $5,000 to start selling on Amazon, that's great. It's gonna put you in a position to start your growth a little bit faster than somebody starting with only a thousand bucks. However, you can definitely start selling on Amazon with a thousand dollars. As you are obtaining this income, what you want to do is start learning. And that means you need to go to YouTube University and you need to figure out this business model. And on my channel, we cover all kinds of videos about selling on Amazon, what Amazon FBA is, all the different business models, shipping your products into Amazon. So if you guys haven't scrolled through the channel yet, make sure to scroll through the channel and check those videos out because there's all kinds of information about Amazon FBA. There's also other great channels out there. Regardless of who you watch, 
YouTube University needs to be your number one priority. This means you need to soak up information like a sponge. And that means when you are driving in the car, I want you listening to Amazon FBA content. When you're on your lunch break at work, listen to Amazon FBA content. Anytime you get a free moment throughout the day, you need to be listening to information. That's because the information is going to be what enables you and propels you forward into this business model. At the same time you're doing that, I want you to join communities. This does not have to be paid communities, although it can be. Paid communities are great because it will fast track the process for you and you can sign up for some type of course along with a mentorship community. However, you have to be very careful who you select that course from because there is a lot of bullshit in the industry and people just selling you a course and not actually selling on Amazon. So make sure you vet the gurus that you are seeking out a course from, but what you'll want to do is join a community. And for us, if you guys are interested, we have a free private Facebook group. I've linked that down in the description below. We're also working on a free school community. This is going to be an educational community that you guys can join for completely free. It's going to be interactive content from myself and my team, and we are going to provide you guys with a ton of value for free. However, there are paid groups out there that are great, which you can certainly join as well. The purpose of all this is you're going to need to not just learn from other people and absorb the information like a sponge, but you are also going to need the support of other people and community so that as you are building your business, you stay motivated. This is because Amazon FBA is the path less sought after. That means most people that you know are just working a nine to five job and selling products online is completely foreign to them. And if you try to do this alone, you're going to get discouraged quickly and you might quit. And the statistic is that most Amazon sellers quit after the first six months. So if you can survive those first six months, you have a much higher chance of success in selling on Amazon. So three steps right here, a thousand dollars, get it in your pocket as quick as possible. Learn as much information as possible from YouTube university and join a community. This can be a free community or a paid community, whichever it is, this is going to not just give you the knowledge, but it's also going to give you the community aspect so that you can network and stay motivated. So if you have no idea what it means to sell products online, I'm going to make it very simple for you. The easiest way to start is by selling products on Amazon. This is because Amazon has millions of customers already coming to their platform, right? Amazon has millions of customers. So if you were to go and try to start and or replicate a fraction of the customers that Amazon has, you are going to need to build some sort of community and customer base. Well, you have nothing. So how are you going to do this? So the question now becomes not how to sell products on Amazon or how to sell those products, but how to create demand for the products. Here, the demand is already there. There's already people coming to the Amazon platform and shopping. So because of that, you can capitalize on the demand that Amazon has already provided for you. With this, you might have to create your own website or Shopify store. And the task becomes not so much about creating the product because that is absolutely the name of the game here is creating a phenomenal product that iterates on an existing product in some fashion, but more so it's about creating demand. Now you can create demand around a product that already exists, or you can create this product that already has demand, right? But then it, the challenge becomes marketing. So you see with this side of it, there's a lot of steps in the process with this customers already there sell them the products so that's how you're going to start selling on amazon and with selling on amazon there are also two paths right this is path number one which is selling name brand products and path number two is selling private label products so what's the difference well, name brand products means that these are products that are might be already sitting in your house, right? Products that you see every single day that have amazing demand 
and customers already know about them. That means customers are buying them. So what you can do here is you can look at data and you can see that with that data, there is already demand and those products are already selling. And you can see what price they're selling for. And you can see how much you're gonna make on them, right? And you can see how much money you're gonna get back on your capital, your return on investment. So you can see all of this information with this because they're name brand products. They already exist. They already have demand. With private label, some of this will be applicable but you now have to find the product and you have to create demand for that product. So if you do go the road of private label, nothing wrong with that at all. However, it's going to require you to create a brand, to create a product that people want, right? So product demand. It's going to require you to market that product. It's going to require you to manufacture that product or deal with a manufacturer. It's going to require you to build, and this goes hand in hand with marketing, but advertising, SEO, so search engine optimization, content, right? This is because you need to create the demand. You need to drive consumers and make them give a crap about your product because when you create a product right off the bat, nobody gives a crap, but you have to make them give a crap. And the only way to do that is to do all of this. So that's why I say, especially if you are where we said before, which is a thousand bucks in your bank or a thousand bucks to spend on this business model, don't start in private label, start selling name brand products on Amazon. So if you are going to sell name brand products on Amazon, there are two ways to do it. Number one is through retail arbitrage or online arbitrage and number two is through wholesale so let's identify the difference there is a third business model called private label but we were already went over that previously and we determined that as a beginner with limited capital we're not going to start doing private label this is something to aspire towards long term but we'll talk about that later so retail and online arbitrage what is it you are buying literally from retail stores, Home Depot, Target, Lowe's, TJ Maxx, Home Goods. You're buying from retail outlets or online outlets and then you're selling those products on Amazon, right? So just like the name says, you are arbitraging the gap in price. You are going to a physical store or you are looking on a website and you are seeing the price that that product sells for and after any applicable discounts that you can get. And then you are having that product either shipped to your home if you're shopping online or you're in the store and you buy that product and you then go home, you package those products up in a box and then you ship that box into Amazon. Amazon then fulfills each customer order that purchases from your store. And then you go out and you buy more products and you just keep doing that over and over again. So we just talked about fulfillment by Amazon, which is where Amazon ships customer orders themselves after you've shipped in bulk into their warehouse. This is the way to go because it's the most scalable and you can build a massive business using Amazon FBA. You can also build a massive business using Amazon FBM. However, it's gonna require more work. That's because FBM stands for fulfillment by merchant. That means rather than shipping your products in bulk into Amazon and Amazon dealing with all the shipping, logistics, and customer service, you now have to deal with all of that customer service, even returns if the customer wants to return a product that they purchased from you. So you will ship out onesie twosie orders with FBM. You're still capitalizing on that demand on Amazon because both of those models you are selling on the Amazon platform. However, Amazon FBA is generally the way to go with incorporating a little bit of merchant fulfilled. Our business does 95% Amazon FBA with you know a very small subset of the business doing merchant fulfilled. Now with RAOA, you're going into retail stores or you're shopping online. You're then purchasing those products and selling them on Amazon. And you're just rinsing and repeating that process. And you would be amazed at how quickly you can scale that business just by going into the stores and scanning products. So we built a multi six figure business doing RA and OA. Now, you have zero dollars or you figured out a way to get your hands on a thousand dollars so you're going to take as much of that thousand dollars and invest it into inventory and the best way to do that is here low capital risk and it's a low risk business model because if your products don't sell on amazon you can return them to the store now with wholesale right this is the more sustainable long-term business model because with raoa you have to constantly duplicate 
what you are doing. You can only be in so many places at once as one person. So with this model, you're gonna be limited by your time and you're really just buying yourself a job with this. That's because you're exchanging money and time in a one-to-one -one ratio. Meaning I go out to the store or I shop online and I purchase those products and send them into Amazon. It requires me in order to make money to put an equal amount of time in. Whereas with something like this, you're actually building things out on the front end. So it requires a lot of work in the beginning. However, long term, you know, maybe six months or 12 months down the road, you can build something massive because of the work that you put in in the beginning. This massive business model actually generates you perpetual income without you having to work in it. And this is how we've built our business through Amazon Wholesale, right? Last year we did four and a half million in sales on Amazon, right? This business model, if I wanted to stop growth on it, it just keeps printing money. That's because we already have put the work in up front, right? So what does that work look like up front? Well, Amazon FBA Wholesale, the definition of it is that you are buying from manufacturers, brands, or distributors, and then selling those products on Amazon. You're buying the products in bulk. So it's just like a retail store. Think about Walmart. Where do they get their products from? They have millions of brands in their store, and they are buying those products directly from the brand and they are shipping pallets to their warehouse and then they're putting them on the shelves for you to go in the store and buy. That's exactly what we're doing with Amazon Wholesale. When you strip everything away and just look at the business model at face value, there's pretty much no difference between what we do in Amazon FBA Wholesale and what Walmart does. That's because we're both retail stores, right? We're just a small retail store on Amazon in comparison to Walmart. But the point is we have accounts with different brands. We purchase on an ongoing basis from those accounts and we continue to replenish them. But the only way we got those accounts is we built a book of accounts, right? We have tons and tons of contacts with different brands that we purchase from, right? On a monthly or you know weekly or bi-weekly basis and we keep replenishing those goods and we keep anywhere between a 30 to a 45 day supply. So we're buying the product from the brand and before we run out of stock, we're purchasing again from them, replenishing it so that the item doesn't run out of stock and we just keep rinsing and repeating that process, right? So that's how you get to here and this is where you wanna be because this is what's going to set you financially free. The ability to not have to work in order to make money, right? The business keeps generating money even if the owner's on vacation or if you're doing something with your family or if you are working, right? It doesn't matter what you're doing, but the business is still making money and that's where you wanna be. This is not going to get you there. You can do it like this, but it's gonna require you to build out a team and systems and duplicate yourself. And in my opinion, it's a lot more challenging to do that than to do this with wholesale. So where you wanna start is retail or online arbitrage so that you learn the logistics process of selling on Amazon. You also start with a low amount of capital and you have a low amount of risk because if your products don't sell on Amazon, you can return them to the store. Graduate from there into wholesale where you can either buy from distributors or brands directly, right? And there are ways to do this, but we mostly purchase directly from brands and in order to close accounts with them, we provide them with value. And if you guys haven't watched my blueprint video, which covers everything about Amazon FBA wholesale and exactly how we close accounts with brands directly, I've linked it up above. You're definitely gonna wanna check that video out. Now that we've covered exactly what you need to do in order to start selling products on Amazon today, I want to put out a warning message to everyone watching this video. When you first start selling on Amazon and you go on YouTube and you start searching how to sell products on Amazon or how to sell products online, there's going to be a ton of information out there. And if you're anything like me in the beginning when I first started, I was seeing flashy Lamborghinis and I was seeing houses in Hollywood Hills about how I could make with people walking on the beach or you know, with people walking in their mansions or on the beach and telling you how easy it is to sell products on Amazon and how much money you could make doing it. The warning is one, Amazon FBA is not easy. It is an amazing process and it is an amazing business model that can make you rich. 
but it's going to come with a lot of hard work. With Amazon FBA, you have to be careful when you are navigating your research, you have to be careful of who is providing real information about what it takes to build a successful Amazon business and who is selling you bullshit. Because the guys that are selling you bullshit are making way more money selling you the bullshit than they are actually selling on Amazon. So be very careful in vetting. And a couple things you can look for are this. Number one, do they show you frequent screenshots of their sales volume that they're currently doing on Amazon? Number two, are they showing you what goes on in their actual business and are they talking about the current issues in selling on Amazon? Number three, are they actually talking about real information about selling on Amazon and get into detail and not just tell you fluff information? Because the worst thing is, is the guys that just keep telling you fluff and more fluff and more fluff until you've somehow wound up into their funnel for a course, right? Go to the guys that are showing you the real information. And if you do want to purchase a paid product, be very careful who you purchase that paid product from. There are incredible paid products out there from guys that are doing amazing numbers on Amazon and living and breathing the business. And those are the people you want to gravitate towards, not the gurus showing you Lamborghinis and flashy objects. So if you are brand new in selling on Amazon, I hope this video helped. And if it did, make sure to like the video and share it with a friend that is also interested in starting an Amazon business. Amazon FBA is an inventory based business and that means you need a little bit of capital to start. So we talked about in the beginning of the video how you can get your hands on $1,000 and that means getting some sort of part-time job in order to acquire that $1,000. Once you have the thousand, you're gonna wanna set up your Amazon account and have a business bank account to go along with that do the Amazon vetting process. So if you guys haven't seen my video, which is a free course on how to start selling on Amazon from start to finish and every detail in between, I've linked that video up above for you to check out. And throughout the process, you need to constantly be watching YouTube videos and learning, absorb information, listen to podcasts, join communities, whether they're free or paid. Surround yourself with a group of like-minded people so that you can have the information and knowledge in order to scale quicker, but also so that you have the network to stay motivated in the early stages of building your business because you might not see results right away and it can be discouraging. The last thing to keep in mind is that most Amazon sellers quit after the first six months of selling on the platform. So if you can make it past six months in selling on Amazon, you are way more likely to succeed. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, if you haven't hit that like button, hit the like button. It really helps out the videos in the algorithm. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and notification bell as well. Follow us on Instagram, Operation AMZ. Follow us on Twitter, X, Operation AMZ. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we will see you next time.